Pain at the pump. You're taking a live look at gas selling for $3.29 a gallon in downtown Cleveland. The volatility continues in the Middle East where foreigners tonight are fleeing the unrest there. The situation today sent oil over $100 a barrel for the first time since October of 2008 and left many analysts wondering where it might be heading next. News Channel 5's John Casa joins us live tonight. And, John, we are already seeing gas prices rise. Yeah, unbelievably quickly going up, Danita. The situation is so volatile right now that if it stops at Libya, we'll see a spike. But if what is happening in Libya, Tunisia, and Egypt continues to spread, some analysts say $5 a gallon of gas is not out of the question. 8 o'clock on a Wednesday night, and cars were still lined up to get into the speedway on West 150th. And why not? Gas here was 302 a gallon. Whew. Lovely man compared to 329 down the street. Yes, gasoline prices in Northeast Ohio have jumped about 15 cents this week alone, fueled largely by the political unrest we've seen in Libya, Tunisia, and Egypt. One oil industry analyst we spoke with tonight calls what is happening historic. It could potentially be the biggest thing that happens to oil prices in our lifetime if this spreads to countries like Saudi Arabia. Um, we could be talking $5 a gallon gasoline. That's not what Charles wanted to hear. I'll have to park my car and catch the rapid to work. Every penny gas goes up as a more than $1 billion bite out of U.S. consumer spending. Economists say the hike will essentially erase the 2% Social Security tax cut that went into effect last month. Gas reaches $4, that benefit disappears. It goes to the oil importing countries. So our economic growth will slow down. I don't think we can reach a point where it'll throw us back into a recession, but we won't get the robust rate of growth that we thought we were going to get. That volatility, though, compares little to the situation evolving daily, if not hourly, in the Middle East. When the populace is not making money and they're hungry and they're angry and food prices are going up, and they have no jobs, uh, this is where you see this type of discontent, and it's, it's changing the face of the Middle East right now. And here at home, Bill Monick pointed out that once we got into that $4 a gallon gas range in 2008, the people started driving less, and oil-producing countries not affected by unrest started producing more, so things started to balance out. But right now, all eyes are on the Middle East. And, of course, Nightline will have the very latest coming up at 1135. And, John, I think it's safe to say no one wants to pay $5 for a gallon of gas. No, no one. Again. All right, thank you.